of God and it blesses the people and today I wanted to just jump up here and say look what God is doing and you know something I'm a bit nervous about this but I'm going to say it anyway I felt that God spoke to me this morning and he said when you get serious with me I will get serious with you and some of you want a breakthrough from God and you want God to answer your prayer but you have not yet got serious with God. And the word of God says, when you draw near to me, I will draw near to you. And God wants to get serious with you today. And he wants to do something in your life that you could never have dreamt or believed or imagined. Because God is a good God. He loves you. He is for you. He has a great plan for your life. And I believe this week, say this week, this week. is breakthrough week. Oh my word, it's breakthrough week. Breakthrough Tell the person next to you, you better get ready. Better get you ready. Better get ready. Better get ready. <laughs> Thank you for revival. Thank you for bringing people. Thank you, Lord, for changing lives. Thank you. Last week, we had 30 or 40 people give their hearts to Jesus in this service alone. God, we thank you. And so I reach out to the person on my right. And I reach out to the person on my left. And I say, today I pray that you will get more than you bargain for. Because we pray in the name of Jesus. And everybody say, Amen. Morning, we're so excited. Let's encourage Daniel. Big loud voice, Daniel. Okay, dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for giving us a special life. Thank you for letting us be in your holy world. Thank you for being the first one to forgive us. Thank you for always loving us. Thank you for leading us in the light, right path. Thank you, even though you are the narrow path, you will follow you. And thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for loving us like you are. Thank you for building us. Thank you for always being the first one to forgive us. And thank you for everything that you've done for us. And thank you for everything else that will have to come because we know that it will come in your holy way. Amen. 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 Wow, why don't you 
birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. You know, God set man apart from the rest. The moon and the darkness is sound. There's nothing more we can do. There was a dream. I've never seen a part of gold. God's timing is perfect. He has perfect timing. He is never early. He is never late. He is always right on time. There is no coincidence today that you are here in his church and you've made the effort to get here and you're listening because his timing is perfect for you. He's never early. He is never late. He is always right on time. And we are in the right place today at the right time. But you know, we need to trust in his perfect timing. I just felt the answer you. And in the day of salvation, I will help you. I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people. You are part of the solution this morning. To restore the land and to reassign its desolate inheritances. To say to the captives, come out. And to those in darkness, be free. To say to the captives, come out. And to those in darkness, be free. I want to say to you today that today is the day of salvation. Now is the time of the Lord's favour. And God is calling you out of that which weighs you down and to be free from that that holds you back. He has the power to restore you and to rebuild your life. We need to trust in his perfect timing because whatever you are going through and whatever it is that is keeping you captive and whatever it is that is holding you back, he is never early and he is never late. His timing is perfect and he's calling you to come out of that that weighs you down and be free from that that holds you back so that you can live today.